<laughs> Moving on to our final headline, and it is now official. Sad days for Knicks fans. What? Fan favorite Isaiah Hotstein has signed a deal, a three-year, $87 million deal to join the Oklahoma <coughs> Thunder. Yeah. The Knicks could not pay Hartenstein anywhere near that. But, however, he was a great Can, can I say fan. something? Yeah, How can, much you go first. The Knicks miss can, Hartenstein? I'm not upset you about this. Oh you needed this guy. No, I didn't. Yes, you I did. did. I didn't. You need this over, guy if yeah. you want to compete. I'm, I'm so glad you said he, that. He has the physicality and the grit that the New York Knicks need down low in the post in the even conference. And everybody, including you, yeah. and everybody else thought that Hawkinstown was going to stay and take the hometown discount. Yeah. But it just didn't add up. And the OKC got a lot better just because he joined. They didn't get a lot better. They did uh, get look, better. They, they got exactly what they needed and what they want in OKC. They need a presence. They, they, look, paint. he'll be a backup to Chet Holmgren. I, They'll I play alongside each other. They'll play they, alongside each other. I wish Tim was because he's so skinny. He, okay. he was he so like, out. You, you, you got to keep Mitchell Robinson now. Uh, you have to, right? Yeah. By the way, great defense. That's, that's not what you wanted. That's not what we you wanted. We have overrated, you wanted overstated. Hawkinson. Yeah, I did. So you could get rid of Mitchell Robinson. <laughs> now did. you're forced to keep him. All well and good. And here's it's what happens. Good. This is a New York thing. First off, Isaiah Hartenstein, who happens, you know, to be. Well, you know, you know. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, here's the deal. This is the beauty of having some success uh, at Madison Square Garden. Your value becomes inflated. Because Isaiah Kartenstein is not a 17, 18, 19, 20, 30 million a couple dollar four point games. a year ball player. Yeah. Like he averaged eight and eight last year. Right. The year before that, he averaged five and four. You're not talking about a great player. Certainly, you know, he fit into what the Knicks did very, very well. I was a key part of the playoff run with Mitchell Robinson being injured. I'm not discounting that at all. But when you look into the contract a little bit further, Everyone's like, well, you can't blame him. Oklahoma City offered him more money. The Knicks were you know, limited to that four-year, $72 million deal, right? I, I took a look at the contract. He didn't oh. take more money to go to Oklahoma City. His deal's front-loaded. I know. Year, He'll make $30 million this year. He makes year. $30 million this year, which the Knicks could only offer 17 18 So more money this year. He makes about the same money in year two. Year three is not guaranteed in this contract. But you do it. Uh, but you do the it Knicks offer him 72 guaranteed. And the idea that Isaiah Hartenstein is going to be as big a presence for Oklahoma City as he was for the New York Knicks is just wrong. He's I not going to be. I, I believe so. He'll be a decent role player. They need but him. he is not going to be the guy in Oklahoma City. He was City. a role player here. He became a, a cult he, hero here. Like I said, he was averaging eight points and seven rebounds. That's, he's going to do the same exact thing over in KC. Look, uh, OKC. Is I never begrudge you taking the, the money because no one cares how you pay your mortgage. Take the money and laugh at everybody later on. I'm good with it. He took the money. Mm -hmm. But he's only got two years guaranteed. He's got less money guaranteed in this deal than what the Knicks offered him. And as much as, look, you go to Oklahoma City, I'm sure the living there is quite nice. I'm sure it's less expensive. Oh, yeah, he and his wife just had their first child. Oh, yeah. Great place to raise a kid. I'm good with all of that. But I give it about six weeks. He will miss New York City. Six he, weeks? He will miss the vibe at Madison Square Nobody Garden. Nobody cares the about Mecca. the vibe. Yes, they do. <laughs> Get out of town yeah. with hey, that. Have you ever seen Tracy Morgan vibe. courtside in Oklahoma City? No. The vibe. The vibe. Man, he will not miss vibe. it that much. Huh? Can, can you uh, agree and say that the OKC are a better team than the New York Knicks? It's very close. Ooh, yeah, no, it's, it's not very close. Very close. The OKC is really good. Very OKC is done to have a better chance of getting to the NBA Finals than the New York Knicks. Oh, I disagree with that. No, I think the on, road man. out west is tough. You're not being honest Tough road. Tough, tough no. road. Because, look, look, in the East, I got Philly, I own them, and I got the Celtics. Who else am I worried about? In the uh, West, you got a lot of teams you got to worry about. If you're Oklahoma City, Minnesota, Denver, yeah. Dallas, Maybe Phoenix. Or maybe he wants you wanted to get out of the big city. Maybe oh. he doesn't want the vibe. Maybe he wants to go be a country boy again. I don't know. As long as you respect that there's a vibe. There's a vibe. There's a vibe. <laughs> yes, there's I got a vibe. Although we're seeing New York City are not the same. Uh, there's a vibe. Look at Jalen Brunson. By the way, I watched Jalen Brunson uh, stare down uh, Chocobur uh, Chocoburton at a WWE event uh, this that. past weekend. Saw that. And I got to be honest, it looked like you hurt his left hand again. 
And I was very concerned. <laughs> oh, no. I was very concerned. Oh, no. that the left hand went oh, low. No. Look at me. I was very, we need very, that hand. Very concerned about that. Uh, I think even Deuce McBride had a tree. Have that, guys? Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Deuce McBride. Uh, in response to uh, Hartenstein, going to Oklahoma City, said another black man. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> this, is, this, this is really uh, with the black fist. I mean, <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> it's that he's the whitest dude in America. But yo, know, I love getting that fist when Aaron Boone gives it to me. So I know exactly Boone? what I what happened. What do you say? Aaron Boone fists me all the time. It's Way different crazy. color, different color fists. What? He gives me the white fist. Yeah, he gives you the, oh, the different right. color fists. Plax, it's crazy. Every time. Uh, it sounds like it. Every single time, Aaron Boone gives me the fist, and, and I like it. It's awesome. That being said, what happened? What? <laughs> um, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> You may have heard. Aaron Rodgers is back. <laughs> That's great. He's, back. <laughs> He's never gotten fisted by Aaron Boone, I can tell you that right now. That's a special relationship me and Booney have. Booney? <laughs>